So excretion is the process where the body removes toxic materials. These toxic materials may be the waste products of metabolism or substances which we no longer require because we have too much of them. So the three main uh, toxic poisons that the body needs to excrete are carbon dioxide, which is produced, of course, during respiration, and that is released through the, uh, the lungs via gas exchange. We also have urea, which is produced in the liver during the removal of amine groups from amino acids, which can denature enzymes, and salts, which can also be in excess due to too much salt in the diet and have the effect of changing the water potential of the blood. So today we're really going to focus on this t uh, the last two, how the body excretes urea and salts. And it does it using the excretory system we saw see in front of us. So the main components of this excretory system are fourfold. You have the kidney, which we'll look at in a little bit more detail. Um, we will look at the ureter. Okay. The ureter carries urine, which is a substance we'll look at later, from the kidney to the bladder. Of course, this is known as the bladder. The bladder stores about half a litre of urine before releasing it uh, from the body. And we have the urethra, not to be confused with the ureter, which carries urine from the bladder to the outside world. Okay, so the kidneys receive blood from the renal artery, remove urea and variable amounts of water from it, and return it, this modified blood, back into the circulation through the renal vein. These wastes are removed from the blood and eventually expelled through the urethra in the form of urine. Okay, so we're just now going to look in a little bit more detail at the kidney. So this is the kidney. And the kidneys are specialized organs. They do two main things. They remove toxic waste uh, called urea from circulating blood and excrete them and regulate the water content of the blood through osmoregulation. Okay. So the structure of the kidneys is well adapted to enable them to carry out these processes. Each uh, kidney receives a good supply of blood through the renal artery and each kidney then filters substances like the urea out of the blood so it can go into the urine and each kidney has an exit tube remember called the ureter which carries away the urine uh, with urine being a solution of wastes dissolved in water so drinking lots of water is important and finally the kidney is under a closed control by something called a feedback system so the amount of products it's producing uh, creates information for the kidney saying I'm producing too much uh, urea, the urine's getting too concentrated. So this saves the amount of water being used. So the, the amount of water is exactly balanced to the body's requirement to excrete them. Okay, so in the rest of these lessons, what we're going to do now is really delve deeply into the structure of a kidney and see how it works.